Hello, everyone. This is Howard Dare. Thanks for stopping by. So I want to talk about some legal action coming up against uh, Google and Alphabet from X and Rumble. Let's just read the article. X and Rumble file antitrust complaint against global ad group. Elon Musk's social media platform, X, filed an antitrust lawsuit against the Global Alliance for Responsible Media, accusing the international advertising group of illegally boycotting companies, including the video sharing site Rumble and other platforms. X Corp CEO Linda Garconnell posted a video Tuesday morning announcing X, formerly known as Twitter, filed a lawsuit against Graham, World Federation advertisers, and top members of Graham, such as Mars, CVS Health, Unilever, and or Stred. The suit is joined by Rumble, an alternative video website to popular platforms like YouTube that conservative influencers laud as a free speech alternative. The latest antitrust suit comes after Yar Carno said she reviewed the House Judiciary Committee's investigation into Graham and found its members directly organized boycotts and used other indirect tactics to target disfavor platforms, content creators, and news organizations in an effort to demonetize and, in effect, limit certain choices for consumers. The complaint alleges that several key advertisers coordinated by Graham conspired to boycott X by withholding advertising revenue. The complaint contends this alleged action was taken to enforce Graham's brand safety standards and was not in the individual economic interest of the advertisers, but rather a collective effort to pressure X into compliance. The conduct of defendants and their co-conspirators is a naked restraint of trade without countervailing, without countervailing benefits to competition or consumers. The Sherman Act, 15 U.S.C. 1, does not allow this. The complaint states the brand safety standards set by Graham should succeed or fail in the marketplace on their own merits and not through the course of action of market powers by advertising acting collectively to promote their own economic interests through commercial restraint at the expense of social media platforms and their users. Rumble also accused Graham of using a one-size-fits-all standard to perpetuate an advertising boycott against Rumble and other platforms, according to a press release. Both X and Rumble are seeking a permanent injunction against the continued conduct, damages, interests, and legal fees, among other relief, the press release added. The complaint comes just one day after a federal judge in Washington, D.C. ruled against Google in a landmark antitrust case. The judge found that Google's parent company, Alphabet, violated Section 2 of the Sherman Act by paying other companies to assert dominance over search platforms. X Corp's suit was filed in the U.S. District Court for the Northern District of Texas, Wichita Falls Division, which, according to legal experts, has a 100% chance of being assigned to Judge Reed O'Connor, an appointee of former President George W. Bush. The judge has ruled in favor of several conservative-backed efforts since the start of the Biden administration, such as blocking the Department of Defense from punishing Navy SEALs for refusing to take COVID-19 vaccines. Ruling against Biden's pistol brace rule and issuing favorable decisions for Texas to halt amendments to Title IX. After Musk purchased Twitter in April 2022 on a promise to allow more free and open dialogue, the social media platform began to see losses in advertisement revenue after major corporations pulled out due to concerns over quote unquote hate speech appearing on the platform. Musk announced in May of last year that Yarkano would serve as the company's new head following months of backlash towards Musk serving as CEO of the platform. The Washington Examiner contacted Graham and WFA for comment. So that's the article, and I think it's about time. We've been seeing this happen, you know, for seven or eight years now, easily, uh, these platforms were built on the idea of the users expressing free speech, you know, YouTube, um, and they grew. The people love it. You know, they love interacting. They love hearing all the opinions. But of course, they, you know, made their moves to, uh, I don't know, limit it. And we've been seeing this and struggling through this for a long, long time now.
You know, it really is taking away people's free speech in the name of free speech. But I don't want to editorialize too much right here. Let me know what you think about this, and we'll follow this, you know, as it's going along. Also, please like, share, comment, subscribe, donate. Please donate. Find my Cash App donation link. Do what you can to help me continue to do what I want to do, you know, which is bring important content to you. And join me again, Howard Dare, as I plan to have more content for you. Thank you, everyone.